Well, we usually see hotter temperatures on Memorial Day weekend, and traditionally it's a time when a lot of people like to get in the river. 23 ABC Story Cooper spoke to search and rescue officials. Having details now, what you need to know if you're planning to be near the river this weekend. Tori? Tim and Jessica, Kern County Sheriff's Office search and rescue officials say typically during Memorial Day weekend is when they see more calls for rescue. But with lower temperatures impacting the river, they say this year may be a little different. Sergeant Steve Williams of the Kern County Sheriff's Office search and rescue crew says rescue officials are preparing for Memorial Day weekend. Our crews stage uh, in the upper Kern and the lower Kern and uh, in Hart Park and then throughout the, the canyon. So we have we have crews that are prepared to respond at a moment's notice. Williams says even though Memorial Day weekend is a notorious party weekend, forecasted cold temperatures may impact the usual influx of people. We do expect that that will impact uh, the number of people that are going to try and swim in the river this weekend. Uh, I think that it'll probably result in, in less rescue calls. Since 1968, 298 people have died from Kern River related deaths. Last year, three people lost their lives in the river. So that was down from 2017, where we had 16. But he says no one died last Memorial Day weekend. Williams says the number of fatalities varies due to factors like ambient air temperature and the amount of snow melt runoff from the mountains that increases river flow. But officials still have tips for those planning a river trip. Like wearing personal flotation devices, not consuming alcohol or drugs, and then entering the water. Uh, and then also look into professional guide companies as a as a safe source of uh, recreation in the river. If you are in a situation where you get stuck in the river, officials say don't panic. Assume that lounge chair position that we spoke about before with your feet down river, your head up river uh, and your butt down and, and don't fight the river. Let it take you to a spot where you can safely get out of it without expending all of your energy trying to fight. Now, Sergeant Williams says even though the Kern River is not as high as it was in 2017, it is still moving very quickly and there is a lot of water coming out of the mountains. He says it's more than enough to be fatal for a swimmer. But for now in studio, I'm Tori Cooper for 23 ABC News connecting you.